Right, so here you've got your customized blender, and I just want to give you an idea of the window layout. Um, this is our main modeling window, as I said. The modeling window can be split by grabbing these little diagonal chaps in the top left hand corner, and then that can be moved around. So if we add an object, you can see it's visible in both windows. Down here under view, you can see both windows then have a view view and we can view it from on top. So that's on top and that's our camera view as such. Now you can see down here a little icon has been added by the Blender program so that if I press with my left mouse you can see it if I press the T key, again, it will come up. So you can get an indication of what I'm doing with my mouse and my keyboard. Now, what the T did was to get rid of this window here, the object tools. So while my cursor is over this window here, between those diagonal lines and these diagonal lines, if I press T, this menu comes and goes. If I hold it over this one, again T comes and goes. Now there is another menu bar to any one window. If we want to close over and just make one window we grab and pull across and you can see the arrow in the middle giving the direction it's closing. So we back to one window. Now if I press the N, so you can see down here N, I get another dialog box coming up here. And these two boxes we'll use later in modeling. Um, but are controlled through the keypad. N gets rid of that one, T gets rid of that one. Now, to manipulate this, um, if I use the middle mouse button, press down my middle mouse button, I can rotate the world, the world, such. All right. Now, here you've got as you can see down here, your y-axis, your x-axis, and your z-axis. If I grab a little, the arrow, it will only move in the z-axis. Similarly, on the y-axis, and on that axis. Now, I can also press my G key. You'll see the G comes up there, and I've I suppose grabbed my object and then it'll move anywhere. A left click deposits it back down into my modeling world. So G key and I can move something but it'll go in any dimension. You can restrict that by going G Y and now it'll grab and only move in the Y direction. So that's really useful. So now if let me just add a sphere as well. And I'm going to grab that and bring that up. So now we have a cube and a sphere in the window. If I want to do model and keep an eye from different angles, I can split this window further. And so I can view this to top view, so I can see how they're looking there view from the front, that's how they're looking there, and then this view I could keep rotating. So I could move my sphere and make sure that it was right next to my box in the front view, next to my box in the top view, and then this one can move around. Now if I wanted to see what size my sphere was, I press the N key, N key, and I get this dialog box, and under dimensions, this is in millimeters. So currently, my sphere is two millimeters across in all directions. If I want to select the box, I could go and select the cube up here. It was a left click, if you noticed. Or, if I go back to the sphere, a right mouse click on the object selects the object. See a right, right mouse click. 
right mouse click, cut the cube, sphere, cube. If I select this the cube, you can see it's also two millimeters in size. Now if I press the S key on my keyboard, S represents or stands for scale. I can press S and you can see I'm now scaling the object that is selected. You can see the dimensions are increasing here, it's now three centimeters. If I want to scale in one direction, say the Y direction, let me just close up these boxes a bit. So if I want to revert back to a single window, I can close that one by closing onto there. This window pulls across on top of there. So I can close that window that way. Another useful keyboard key is the home button. If you press the home button, your modeling area comes to a home position. So even if on the scroll button, you can see it indicating scroll button there, I can zoom in and out if I've scrolled into the background and then for some reason I'm all over the place, the H or home button will get it back. And then I can go view front if I want to see it from the front.